Hi there, my name is Tony and this video captures the process I use to make pottery. I start by wedging and weighing the clay. This will get rid of air bubbles and help me throw with uniformity. My favorite part of the process is throwing. Once the clay has set up over a couple of days, I can handle the pot and trim excess clay from the bottom. This will sit on a shelf for about 10 days and dry out completely. Now that the bowl is bone dry, I can do the first firing. The wares inside the kiln will reach over 1800 degrees Fahrenheit in a 10 to 11 hour firing period. It takes about a day for the kiln to cool and become safe to unload. I like to wash and wet sand the bisque ware in order to get a smooth surface. So in this part I'm using various under glazes and it's a little nerve wracking but it's pretty fun at the same time. The pigment dries almost immediately because the wares are very porous. Using tongs, I give the pot a quick dip and some matte clear glaze. Once it's dry, I can handle and clean it. Glaze is removed from the bottom so it doesn't fuse to the kiln shelf. Back to the kiln for the second firing. In this firing, temperatures will reach over 2100 degrees Fahrenheit in a 9 to 10 hour firing period. The kiln will take a day and a half to cool. Opening a kiln is always exciting and sometimes nerve wracking. You never really know what you're going to get until you open it up. The final steps of the process include sanding the base and cleaning the pot. That foot ring is as smooth as glass, so it won't be scratching up any tables. Here's the final product. In each cycle of making, it takes at least two weeks for me to go from an idea to a finished piece of pottery. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.